Good morning, everybody. I'm trying something new in this video today. I'm using a new editing program that requires very little editing. So the video you're seeing today has actually not been edited. It's actually a series of shots spliced together. Now, you might wonder why I'm doing this. I'll tell you simply, I'm doing this to increase the productivity in my life. We're trying to figure out how we can keep telling our story to you, but cut down on the hours that we put into editing videos. So we've made this one change in our life. It's not necessarily permanent. We're just trying it out. So let us know what you think. But I really think this is going to dramatically increase our productivity out here doing the work of homesteading. I'm out here in the garden. This is the lower portion of the garden. And every morning, it's completely full of these little mushrooms. And then when the sun comes out, they all wilt. And they come up again the next day. I just think it's beautiful. I wanted to ask you today to think about this. Is there one thing in your life that you could add to your life one thing you could focus on that would make everything easier or make it so you didn't have to do certain things. And also think about this. Is there one thing in your life that's just eating your time that you need to cut out or just radically change so that you can be more productive in other areas of your life? Our medium chicks are free ranging. They've been out here for a few days. I'm going to kind of combine my topic with a little farm update and show you how all the animals are doing. I threw out sunflower seeds all over. Brianna loves sunflowers and I thought this would please her. So there's sunflowers coming up everywhere right here in the middle of the raspberries and I'll probably just let the sunflowers come up um, in the raspberries this year. I don't expect a lot of production in the raspberries this year, but the sunflowers won't choke out the raspberry plants, so it should be okay. Something else I wanted to show you is this giant grapevine on the back of our barn. It grows up out of this old spike harrow. Last year I pruned it back dramatically. It was the first time it had been pruned in several years. And we didn't get any grapes last year. Actually, we got about four grapes. But this thing is covered with little baby grapes this year. So I'm hoping we'll have a much better harvest this year. I'm up here in our little apple orchard and the trees are doing great. So why are we changing the format today? Well, last night, both Bree and I were exhausted. She went to sleep and I could not see myself editing a video into the night. We have a lot of great footage. Our chicks are hatching. We have monarch caterpillars. And we're gonna to try to edit that video and get it out. But last night I decided I was gonna make this change. I went to sleep knowing I could wake up the next morning and find an app to do what I wanted to do, which is just compile videos together. So we're making this one change. I really think this is gonna help us get work done. We are supposed to get a cow here in, gosh, as soon as possible but we have to get our fences done. So I just want to invest as much time as possible into building fences and getting our cow out here. There's sunflowers here as well in the edge of our little orchard area. I think that sometimes we just get stuck in one way of doing things and a real strength of character, something I want to develop more and more is being willing to change big things in our lives, change things that we think we have to do. And this is actually a great example for us because it's actually a little scary changing our format. I think we've been successful with making incredibly beautiful, well-edited videos with music. And it's a little scary. We feel like we're going out on a limb to post a video like this. But the reason I'm okay with it is because we're still telling our story. And that is really, I think, what people are interested in um, at the heart of YouTube. It what's, it's what makes YouTube successful is it's seeing other people's stories. 
and we're still going to tell you our story. Here's a little volunteer pumpkin plant growing right beside the porch where we dropped an old rotten pumpkin. Our comfrey, our comfrey plants are doing really well. Every single one of them is alive and healthy. We got those from the Marsh Creek Farmstead and we can put a link in the video description if you want to buy some of your own root cuttings. Now let's go inside. I'll show you the baby chicks. They're hatching. It's one of the most exciting things on our little homestead today. Are you excited about the baby chicks hatching? Yeah. How are they doing? Good. How many have hatched so far? 15. 15 out of how many eggs? 20. 20 eggs. So they're in there. They're a little bit cramped but they're not all hatched yet, so you can't open the incubator before they've all hatched. They're so cute. It's been so much fun watching these babies hatch. We'll actually have a more complete chick hatching video um, in a regular format, probably up tomorrow, so you can look forward to that. This has just been so much fun. So what is it for you? Is it a new business that you've been thinking and talking about starting for 10 years, and you know it's what you need to do, but you just haven't been able to make the break and do it uh, and start it? Or is there just something that's draining your life that you need to cut out? I wanna just challenge you to think about this because I'm a strong believer that we are imaginative beings and we have a lot of power to change our lives if we're just willing to step out and take a leap of faith, make the changes we need to make to have the life that we want to live and that's going to really keep us alive on the inside and keep us um, being productive and happy humans. What is the change that I've made allowing me to do? It's allowing me to get out here pretty early and well rested and finish planting the garden. We've already planted corn and um, squash and also finish the garden fence, hopefully finish it today. And we'll fill some of that to show you um, as well. So let us know what you think about our new format. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let us know something in your life that you want to change. Or tell us a story about something you've changed. That was another great day in the homestead. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video.